Hey, good morning, sleepy eyes. Hey, hey morning. <laughs> Where are we? We're, we're day number two of our vacation in Astoria, Oregon. And day number four, I guess, as of right now, of our total vacation. Yep. We had a good little breakfast last night. We did some bowling and everything. And, you know, even though I, it said that I defeated, or I beat Mike, I don't really think that was really true because I think the scoring system is kind of weird. Because uh, if you remember, oh, <laughs> walk over the hangover already. If you remember, if you paid attention at all, there was a time when I didn't even hit no pins at all, but yet I got 20 points. <laughs> yeah. How the heck does that work? <laughs> I really don't know. But it was fun. Then we went and ate over there and, you know, had uh, a great meal. What do you think? The meal was pretty good? Yeah, I thought overall. it was pretty good. Yeah, everything I told you was going to be like it. <laughs> So today we're gonna go and film some more. We're gonna go to well, one of the uh, houses that was well used in the movie Short Circuit, which is pretty cool because we basically were from where we're staying. I like how big that bridge is. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even realize how big it is, it is until you're up here. But like our hotel is like down there somewhere, and just straight up the hill here around the corner is. The short circuit house with the Johnny Five and all that, the robot. Yep. Mike says he's never seen that movie yet. No, I, <laughs> I tell you, tell me, you know how many people are just like, like shaking their heads right now? <laughs> like, how could you not have seen that and then it came over here? <laughs> oh well, we'll get him interested in it sooner or later. Oh, that was a big Jeep. God, yeah, wouldn't it be fun to winter time we get like a sled and everything, or or toboggan or something like that? Like toboggan sled. <laughs> yeah. I, like, roll down the hill here, you know? <laughs> oh, I wonder what people would do if it was icy over here. I wonder how they get up here. <laughs> They'd have to get, like, an ice pick or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to get up this house here, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like, in case you've never seen it before. You know, the one thing I can definitely say is that Astoria is very no, well known for its traffic. You don't normally see that, but yeah, lots of traffic. Well, we are oh, we are here, we have arrived, and this is it. This is the short circus, short circuit house. I keep saying circus, I don't know why, but anyway. And uh, it says it's private property, but I don't think nobody lives here right now. But this was actually used in what the original uh, first short circuit movie with Johnny Five the Robot. And for some reason, I don't know, in the movie it looks so much different because I think the house was a different color too. I think it may have been like a blue color or something, but it's, it's very nice though. I mean, it's kind of cool that... And if nobody actually is uh, living in here, boy, and I'm thinking because of the value of the, or because of the movie, you know, the value of the house even makes it worth more, you know, just like the Goody house. What do you think there, Mike? <laughs> Talk to your audience, you know, they, they probably, now I'm getting familiar with who you are and all that, so. <laughs> yeah, I think the house looks really nice. Nice and big anyway? Yeah. You can see yourself living there, maybe? <laughs> maybe. With a nice big deck. <laughs> you, know, oh, yeah. you know what they say, when you got money, you don't need a big deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. And then, uh... <laughs> and then, uh, most uh, houses or anything that has had to do with, like, a movie or anything like that has a thing on the uh, sign on there. It says, Historical Society, I believe, or Historical Landmark. Yeah, it's a historical yeah. landmark. Yeah, place. and that means that it was a, it was used in something that has to do with his history. Uh, hence, it was used in the movie Short Circuit. So we'll have to probably watch Short, Short Circuit together, just so you can say, "Hey, I've been to that place before." <laughs> and you'll be kind of surprised because I don't know. I kind of wonder because of the steepness of this hill and everything, how the heck they were able to film it so good without like cameras like rolling down the hill or anything like that. But this is like an old movie from 1984, way before, pretty much before Mike's time, and before, well, pretty much around the time I was around, and our boy was born, or 83 or whatever. But, uh, yeah. 
But uh, you want to see a really nice view? Let's keep going up here. We got lots of nice views around here. Do, do, do. I'm sure Mike could use some Jeremiah weed right now. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw that commercial on TV. There's a uh, we watched it, and then I found the extended version of uh, of the commercial uh, with the ZZ Top and the Jeremiah weed. If you haven't seen it, so it's beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, look at this view. Oh, wow. It's just like nice. <laughs> it's just like looking at a postcard. <laughs> <laughs> At our hotel, just right down there, you can see it, right there, Mike? Yep. Right at the end over there, lamp ladder in. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. We just had a good breakfast and everything. Mike was mad because we had no juice, but... <laughs> I was trying to convince him to drink some coffee, but he wouldn't do it. <laughs> he was just going to throw it in my face. <laughs> He's like, oh, have some hot coffee there. <laughs> but yeah. So how would you like to live in Astoria, Oregon, knowing that you could have this view every day that you were that you woke up? It's, it makes it worth waking up early in the morning if you lived around here. Yeah, I think it would be really beautiful. Yeah. So the people, so you people who have never been here before and have always said, you know, I would love to visit a place like this and, and uh, you know, see something like this, I mean, but never actually fully commit to it. Just realize that I've been here now two times. I'm not a wealthy man uh, by any means, but I just set my mind to something big where I decided, you know, it's about time that I do something other than just spend my money on DVDs or Blu-rays or whatever and, and actually go out and see the, a little bit of Americana, if you will. And being here now for the second time and actually having more fun on this trip now than I ever did four years ago, mostly because of bringing this guy along. He makes things, he makes things interesting. <laughs> anyway... And just being able to do this and all that stuff is, is makes everything worth it, you know. I realize life can suck a lot, you know, it, it can, you know. Been there, done that, but, but then life can also be great as well. And I'm not trying to be like a motivational speaker all of a sudden on this little documentary here, but uh, sometimes you just put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> yeah, I heard that before. And back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to George McFly and his book. <laughs> yeah. So anyway... I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is part three of the documentary. Uh, I uploaded part one and part two already uh, just because the internet's so damn fast here. And I figure, you know, why go through hours and hours of editing all this footage? Because people that know me pretty well know that I, I'm a simple guy. I, I don't really edit that much. Uh, why, why delete scenes that were pretty cool that were used in the movie or anything? Or just why go through all that extra work? So... Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, we're going to go to some more great locations. Also, <clears throat> I believe, I, let's see, the Red Lion Inn is like somewhere over there, or over there, where you see all those fancy little boats and stuff like that, where that yeah. big ship is right now, that cruise ship. How would you like to be on that bad boy? <laughs> big old cruise ship. So, yes, so there's a lot of history here in Astoria, and we're just... On day number two, we did a lot yesterday for day number one. Yeah, we did. And definitely, day number two definitely took a took a big number two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Anyway, all right, we'll we'll see you in a little bit uh, when we film the next thing. But God, you gotta love that view. All right, so Mike, where are we now? <laughs> Oh, the Astoria yeah, River Walk in. <laughs> and I'm going to take you to a spot here. Now, I don't know if we're able to get through or not. We might be able to. But this is where one of the scenes that uh, Getting Our Cop was filmed. Yep. I do believe. And we'll see if we can get through here. Fish market, oysters. Okay, no parking. So we can walk through here anyway. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> pretty nice around here, just because of what everybody's doing. People mow grass and whacking the weeds and everything. Yeah. Fish market this way. Yeah, right here is where I want to take you. This is this is kind of like where 
most of the scenes and stuff from, uh, well, where most of the scenes from uh, Kindergarten Cop, like the eating scene and all that, where they stayed or where they ate at was like around here or whatever. Or there was like an outdoor restaurant or whatnot. Come on in, we're open. Chris Market right there. So if you want to get crabs, that's where you go. <laughs> or fish or anything like that, that's where you go. So here you go, Mike. What do you think? Now's the time to whip out your camera. Show the people that you're an excellent photographer here. Because, you know, we all know that you want to be a photographer when you grow up here. <laughs> or for Mayor Grand Forks Herald or something. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the Rose of Times Region paper. <laughs> you can work with Al Buffum or whatever. Wow, and I didn't realize that this actually goes all the way to the end there. It just goes all the way to this end. But look at all this fancy stuff here. Where's your boat? <laughs> I don't know. Should we just pick one out and just say this is our boat now? Uh, we'll, we'll just say right there is our boat. Yeah, it's right a big there. one. The Celebrity Sentry. It's our cruise ship, you know. They they, they wanted uh, they want Paul Anka, but they got us instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. They got loggers and school buses way over there. Oh, that's crazy. Very, very nice. Here I feel like I'm a wealthy king all of a sudden. Here. <laughs> I feel like my life would mean something here. Because they got old boats, they got new boats, they got all these fancy boats. Oh, let's do a little walking. I gotta be extremely careful down here because. Any little mishap could make you slip. <laughs> Luckily, there's rails here. <laughs> now we can say we'll be part of the ocean. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's like a real old fishing boat. That blue one here. Uh, very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, Mike, where are we now? <laughs> yeah, we're right by that cruise ship right there. Jeez. Should we say we're passengers and get on real quick and see if we can get a free ride somewhere <laughs> yeah. before they throw us over the deck? <laughs> wow. You know how fancy that looks and all that? You know how many... It's like something you'd see like in a, like a, in a movie or something like that or TV or some show or whatever. A nice big cruise ship. Or an episode of Family Guy when they're on a cruise ship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what do you think about this view though? I mean, once again, another nice, another nice view in Astoria. Where all the fancy boats are, and we feel like we're multi-billionaires now. Oh. We feel like Vince McMahon for like a, just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? We feel like we're the king of the world, literally. Yeah. Very nice. And they got so many nice things over here. Look, look at the bridge too, you can see like the bridge. Oh yeah. People come by and everything. I'm sure they're doing some type of road work of course, over here, but it's still nice though. Even if it was raining outside, I'd, I'd probably just add to this, add to the niceness, you know, of what Astoria Oregon really looks like. And this is not too far from where we're staying. Hey, shoo! Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> Well, at least that was a real sea. Oh, look at that. That's a sea lion. Oh, I forgot to tell you, they got sea lions over here. <laughs> so you want, don't want to put your hand in the water. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. What if you heard me sneezing and you like, <laughs> like got up? Wow, can you imagine that? If they like uh, came way close to us and like, jumped there? Because <laughs> I think some would like climb up here or whatever. And, wow. 
So they're big. Huh. I just went out for a swim, you know. <laughs> you gotta realize here in Astoria, Oregon, they, they have a lot of different sea creatures and stuff. I'm sure you can find like crab and all that stuff, and yeah. starfish, and jellyfish, and SpongeBob, and Patrick, and everything. <laughs> but no, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool for It's everything that it ever said it was on the website. OldOregon.com. Of course, we haven't done everything that we were going to do, but but I'm trying to show you guys around the, the other things that make this town great too, other than just Goody related or kindergarten cop related or or anything else. There's so much to do here. There's just so little time. It's like I'd want to, you know, in order for us to do everything, we'd have to be here for like a month. <laughs> yeah, we, we really would. Yeah. But but we're doing what we can. So hopefully people will enjoy it anyway. If not, just have some Jeremiah weed. <laughs> and be happy and just shut up. <laughs> Listen to some ZZ Top and have some Jeremiah weed and watch that fat guy just go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> that was pretty cool right there. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. This is uh, one of the best scenes uh, from this uh, angle anyway that I, I could say. Because you're like right in the action kind of. But we're going to try to find some more fun things to, to film here, so we'll be right back. Yep. Be right back, Mike. <laughs> All right. It's right in this, this tall building right up okay. here. Okay. It was on the bottom floor, but I don't know whether they're still there. That okay. is one of them that, it's not a store that I normally frequent anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called Amazing Adventures or Amazing Stories. If I, it's, yeah, if I yeah. remember right, it was right on this front corner. Okay. But it was, that's so we're possibly corner. getting close anyway. Yes. Okay. Cool. So what do you think, Mike? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> not bad, huh? Eh? Feel like we're in Hollywood or something? Oh, <laughs> yeah. The Liberty Theater. Or the theater. <laughs> well, let's go try to. I think he said we're almost closer to the place. It's an amazing adventure, so. Let's keep going. <laughs> hey. Oh well, well. It doesn't take long. You got you can take pictures. Oh really? Yeah. You can just walk right through or whatever? Okay. I guess we'll go here first then. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hello. Watch the smoke here. Oh yeah. We don't want you falling. Oh of course not. Oh, okay. So where does it begin? Where does it end? Well, it's all in your own. I mean, we have people stationed okay. there who can help you. Okay. And, uh, all right. If you have any questions, just ask. This is like a very uh, historical uh, theater then, huh? Yes. It, it opened for business in April of 1926. Okay. Our whole town area, 30 summer blocks, burned down in 1922. Okay. So everything you see down here okay. is newer than that. So. Wow. Yeah. How, how many plays do you think have been... We uh, have, last here. year we had 170 different events. Wow. So weddings and college graduations, <laughs> concerts, plays, town meetings. Any famous people ever come by here at all? Well, it depends on who you call famous. Well, I mean, like, you know, like, well, they have the Goonie Festival. or yeah. the Any of them come over here Some at all? Those, <laughs> do you know uh, She's down in the we had the Kingston Trio here. Oh, okay. I know them. Yeah. Yeah. Folk band. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, Joan Collins. Okay. Or Judy Collins. Judy. I'm sorry, the same okay. Yeah. Okay. Like the Fox. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we, we, uh, well, we're big Goonie fans, so. Oh, <laughs> so you've been to the Goonie house oh yeah. We were filming like a little small documentary, so that's why I brought the camera. <laughs> Hopefully, you're not camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hope not. I paid $85 for it. <laughs> well, thank you. 
<laughs> everybody's a everybody's a comedian over here. Yeah? So Mike, we're in the Liberty Theater. <laughs> we're trying to find amazing adventures, but we're stopping here first. <laughs> It's <laughs> my fish noise. How would you like to go rolling down and playing the shopping cart, the tag? Out here? <laughs> get a shopping cart and go way down here. Might as well get your camera out the mic. Mike's been taking pictures. So he'll probably put them on his Facebook page, maybe, or show show his family anyway what he what he found anyway. Yeah. His discoveries here. Me, I'm just filming everything. <laughs> like a fool. <laughs> and we went to a place called Video Horizons, like a local a video store. Boy, they had a lot of stuff, huh? Oh, yeah. Movies galore. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh -oh. Now, do we feel like we're rich? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's up there, Mike. Yeah. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> Mike's been drinking his Jeremiah weed, so he thought it was like Pepsi or something. <laughs> no. no. He wanted to be just like ZZ Top of that fat guy. <laughs> well, we know what's up, but what's down? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's yeah. What's shaking? What's baking? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is very nice. So, just, what do you think, then, Mike? Do you think we could like go back to our acting days or whatever and put a show on for people? <laughs> oh, look at the light too, like the dim light or whatever. That's pretty cool, though. That they, I think. Some of the Goody events were held here too, I believe. The Liberty Theater. So. Well, anyway, Liberty Theater. Very cool, very cool. Well, we are kind of back where we started. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily, though, but. This is the Goody. Well, this is the. Uh, everybody knows by now, obviously. This is where the Goody is first opened, the, the, the movie, anyway. We've seen it yesterday, or the, the, we've been in here, but for some reason the camera didn't record everything that we were supposed to do, so we got to come back <laughs> and do it all over again, but it's okay, though. It's pretty cool. They changed this jail now to a film museum, which is probably the best idea, rather than keeping it locked and everything, and, and it's just pretty beautiful, right next to the Flavel House, Flavel House, but Mike and I had a good time there yesterday, <laughs> so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Very, very cool inside here. So we're just gonna keep the camera rolling. I'll let Mike hold the camera. All right. You can do the filming with the sniffles. This. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello. Do you want to do Zoom? 
<laughs> Just try to get as much as you can out of here. So that I, but I think the server is working out compared to what it was. Yeah. Stand by me, that's a classic. Short circuit, alright, cool. Now you know what I'm talking about, I think. The house is a different color. <laughs> My favorite. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah. So I think what they do is they show everything that was filmed in, in Astoria, pretty much, or around Oregon, pretty much. Homer Bound. Bound. I don't know what's going on here. Wow. Yeah, that's what I think of Mike. <laughs> it's pretty good. And over here, it's like everything, somebody like drew or, or like painted all these pictures or whatever, or recreated the characters from the film and all that. And then all this stuff here. And it's like, very nice. I could probably own half this stuff if I wanted to, or find it. But it's like everything really related that you could ever, ever imagine. From cups to license plates to baseball cards, shirts, posters, you know, toys, everything. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. He was find some stuff that was actually used in the film, probably. I have no idea. <laughs> The outer, the other side of where the uh, Goonies started, anyway, in this little jail cell right here, 
But we're gonna go on the other side here after a bit, but I just wanna show you guys more of this I do. It's pretty breathtaking. Because, uh, <laughs> all the stuff I think that Dana would use, that was actually used in the film, probably. <laughs> Disaster. Oh, yeah. Tribute H. Just kidding. So, over here is like the outer, outer layer of just the, uh, where everything was filmed. This guy was started at all for a while. That story was so popular in the first place. It's not just because of everything that it has, all the businesses and stuff. It's popular because, you know, one of the greatest films of all time ever was filmed here. It was the Goonies. And that's what makes it great. <laughs> so let's go on the other side here. Right. Keep the camera rolling. Let Mike do the camera work for once. <laughs> <laughs> that's good acoustics out here. <laughs> if Jay Carl was there, you'd sing an opera. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is where history is made. You can see, oh, this is really nice here. That's how I'd like my house. For my room. It's hard to believe that, you know, just being here and like, seeing all this stuff, it looks so small. Like that, you know, yeah. in the movie it looks so huge, but when you're in here, oh yeah, it's different acoustics, two different sounds in here. Uh, they're probably the original notes, I believe. I guess where he's trying to hang himself or anything. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this was actually a real prop that was actually used in the movie. I highly doubt they'd recreate it. Sewer pipe, but then again, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is real, too. He does ancient. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, this is. <laughs> right. It's like the size of a. Not even the size of a bed. <laughs> How'd you like to live here, though, Mike? No. And you get all this, too. Recreation. I like these. Everybody like those. Yeah. I haven't seen them filmed or anything. Oh, see these filmed or anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is it. Everything that you have seen war or data war in the film, I'm pretty sure. Could be recreated, but I'm pretty sure it's in real time. <laughs> yeah, that would be all cool, dude. And it'd just be kind of nice to go back in time and be here when all this stuff was well made. Just seems so funny. was filmed here as well. I was never really a big fan of that stuff. But this is actually a conversation of, I guess, for the movie God, I guess. Kind of like a real conversation between everybody when the film was made. 
little walkie-talkie I used to use when I was at the at the security guard at the casino. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's a short circuit now. I'm sure you know the Johnny Five robot at least. Uh, well, yeah. we'll definitely have to watch it sometime. I yeah. definitely like it. Or maybe I'll when I get them on Blu-ray, I'll give you my DVDs of them. Yeah, both one and two. And this actually, right here, you can fill with see it if you want. We're not going to do that today because we we did that yesterday. And they, they, I guess it takes a while for them to actually send it to you. Oh wow! Which I thought you you get it sent right away. They gave us a card, but you know. It's just kind of fun to be a part of this because you know, all, all the movie scenes and stuff, you know, like, you know, this is what green, uh, green screens look like and all that stuff, you know, how it makes it look like you're actually in a movie or something like that. Yep. Yeah. But we won't worry about that. We're, we're just looking around here. But it's pretty cool, though. I mean, it's like, you know, what sets would look like if you were actually you know, involved in acting and stuff. So it kind of gives you that, that film experience, you know. If you were into all that. I think these are like the real cards and everything, you know, like Luke Gary. So it's something with Jesus in the movies and the movies, and then their mailbox right here. There is a mailbox in the movie house. See this in the movie the film, like Chuck, and I'll send you the film shuffle. This is an actual mailbox right here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Place and play. It's all from the Oregon Film Society, which is big over here. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> it's like 3D. Oh. Was that medicine? Yeah, it's like all oh, medicine stuff. But how can you? That's kind of weird. We can see it uh, pretty good there, and then it's like in there, it's like it looks all huge or whatever. Like, huh? That's kind of crazy. What's the tag say? I think the tag. Um, <laughs> from from where it's from. Uh, yeah, medicine bottles. I guess. Okay. He was in the movie Restless. Okay, never heard of that one. And I'm thinking this is from Free Willy, probably. More likely. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. This is actually the original mailbox, so. It's probably worth a lot of money, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's ought to be too, but Chunk and Mr. Perkins and. Oh, yeah. So. I don't know, I think. Don't shoot. So then who wore that jumpsuit anyway? Sure. It's like a Japanese film or whatever. It's like uh, called Restless. Never saw that. There's a bunch of films. We got uh, the lady uh, the, at the uh, Col or Commons or whatever said, uh, gave us a list of what was filmed here. So other than just the Goonies, you know, I mean, there's a crap load of films that even currently are getting filmed here. You know, that are, you'll see in theaters and stuff. That's a nice shot. That's, I like to have this in my house. Eh, or in my room, at least. And Mike could have this. <laughs> the statue. <laughs> yeah, there's a statue, but I'm not going to show the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's pretty cool over here. Anyway, the making of the movies. Like, other pictures that you wouldn't normally see. Yeah, it just would be kind of nice to be here around that time, anyway. You know, I'd say so. So, there you go. It was kind of our tour of the Oregon Film Museum. We still got a, a bunch of things that we want to do. Uh, so it's amazing stories that's not around anymore. Uh, we also might go to the Astoria Column. We're still going to look for the radio station that's here. It's called, uh, uh, what's it called? Coast Community Radio, I believe. And hopefully find the theater here too, or the movie theater. Probably go see that movie, The Avengers Side, in this plan. And there's a few other things we want to do too, but try to get through everything. But also there's a surprise, possibly still tomorrow, that's going to happen. 
uh, to kind of close a couple things to kind of close the documentary uh, that we're doing. So anyway, uh, whenever we film something else, we will uh, show you that. So yeah, you can check it out. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Pigeons. Jeez. I think you you got a friend there that you want some food. Here. Put it up a little piece or whatever and see if they'll have it. We were just eating here at the Burger King and all of a sudden uh, the birds, the pigeons want to be fed so, you know, we're, we're conservative people so we'll feed them. What the heck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mike's scared. Hey, he ate pigeons. Hey. He ate Mike's, ne Mike's nearly wet his pants. <laughs> It's okay, Mike. They're they're good people. <laughs> I know I know a fellow that can probably communicate with birds, probably. <laughs> like little robins or whatever they are. Maybe other people know what they are. <laughs> I'm sure they saw us feeding the birds, so they all their friends had to come along. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because this is what I remember anyway. If that says cinema, which it does, yeah. then this is the movie theater. Well, now I remember it. And that might be the pool right next to it. Does it look like a picture of somebody swimming? Yeah, yeah that looks like the pool. <laughs> so we kind of went past it before without even realizing that we're actually in the right spot here. Yeah? Or are we are we idiots? Yes. Uh, Astoria Gateway Cinema. Yeah. So this is where I was. This is the theater here, or the theater. <laughs> Let's see what they got planned here. Oh yeah, they get ready for. They get ready for everything here. Pirates here. Raven. Oh yes, they got. Hey, they got it in 3D too. Heck yeah. Six o'clock, nine ten. So it's playing right, what time you got now? It's about eight twenty right now. So six twenty right now. Yeah. So if we wanna see it, we have to wait until nine ten in three D. Okay. Unless there's unless you wanna see something else, but That'd be the one that I'd like to see, especially in 3D. Let's see, what else do they got here? Because this one starts at 8.30, but that's the regular 2D one. I'd like to see the 3D one. Heck yeah. Love your engagement. Pirates. Right here is the one I can't wait for. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. But yes, this is the movie theater, and that is the pool area. If that's a picture of a guy swimming, yep. uh, that's, that would be it. And uh, this is a snack area and all that stuff, so I think... Yeah. Well, let's go inside and take a look here. Try to do jumbo... Hey, you like pickles, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool this is. The Legend Ends, Dark Knight Rises, summer 2012. It's the third Batman movie. Wow. Wow. Oh. They won some prizes and stuff. <laughs> Dark Shadows. These are cycling glasses. Got all the system ratings and stuff. Well, Mike, what do you think? We actually found... <laughs> well, we actually figured out something anyway. We figured out where the theater was, which we were going to go see the Avengers tonight. And then we're all, we also uh, now found out where the pool was after all this time. Yep. Isn't that weird how that happens? It's like when you get close to the vacation ending, then you find everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't find it before when, you got, when we get here. <laughs> but now we find it when we're about ready to leave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's karma, my friend. 
That's what that is. Well, we'll find out what time they're open and anything, and maybe tomorrow we'll go swimming, maybe. Oh, yeah. That'd be a lot more fun, maybe, <laughs> going all the way up there. But whatever. All right. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Mike? Not much. As I whip the camera out real quick. <laughs> oh, boy, you can see the kindergarten cop school from here. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty cool. This is the back side of it with the classic painting or whatever that we were where we were yesterday. But now uh, we can see the of course the Goonie House right there, which we were also there yesterday. I wish Sandy was home, but she ain't home. I wish somebody would just open the door and just say, "Hey, give us a tour anyway." You know, I don't think Sandy would care. <laughs> but we're right here. Hey, they got baseball game. You like baseball, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you wear a twins jacket. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go and, and see the sea lions. And, and we're, we're going to be going to see the movie, or the adventures here in a couple hours anyway. So we got to kill some time. And we'll do that by seeing the sea lions. <laughs> yep. And interacting with them and maybe having a conversation with them. <laughs> so, so we'll be doing that and uh, we'll be right back. So what do you think there, Mike? <laughs> it's different, yeah, I'm sure it's different. I know what you're thinking, but just don't tell nobody what you're thinking. <laughs> I won't say what I'm thinking either. I have too much of an open mind sometimes. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is pretty cool though. I mean, look how far out we are. Just, let's stop here real quick. And we're not even halfway out yet because we got all the way down there to walk. And just look at the view so far, where we're at. I mean, and you can see the Goonie house a little bit over there. I believe that would be right there. Yes, right there. But this is so beautiful. I mean, it's like, because Astoria pretty much ends right around here, pretty much. I don't know. I don't know what these places are over here. Do you have any idea, Mike? This place right here, the big white building there? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that was that mill that that person was talking about or something, or factory or whatever. Oh. But I know that it pretty much ends around here. Starts way over there, you know, oh. and goes all the way over here. So we're going to go all the way over there, and may God have mercy on our souls, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Trust us, folks, we don't do this every day. Well, Mike does. He's a... He's a he's a boat person. He's a he he owns his own condominium. <laughs> but anyway, this is pretty cool. You know, take your time to reflect and just enjoy the aquatic life. Look at all that stuff. These are the sea lions right there. Yeah, they look like big raisins or something. Or well, I was gonna say a big turd, but <laughs> but I won't say that. Well, I already said that already. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> It was a weird laugh. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so here we are. I know sorry for the sun. Sun's in the way, but it's a beautiful day. How how warm do you think it is today there? Or how warm do you think it is right now? So we'll stop here. Oh you good sunblock right here. That's Chewbacca talk. <laughs> He's talking like Chewbacca. Did you watch Star Wars too? <laughs> wow. I remember too, they were saying that sometimes they go up to the, they climb up here and, and they go over there, they climb up there. I don't know, I don't think they, <laughs> I think one just farted, I think. But yeah. Communicate with the animals there, the sea lions there, Mike. <laughs> it's the only way you know how. I don't know how. They don't know how? No. We know somebody that knows how. <laughs> <laughs> well, that lives oh, around wow. this area here, right? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It's pretty cool around here. It's pretty, I mean, very nice. I mean, you can see the nice bridge. And pretty much over there is where we're staying. Way where the bridge it kind of starts, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> camera out and take some pictures. <laughs> Alright, 
Mike. Where the hell are we? <laughs> Out in the middle of the ocean. Out in the middle of the ocean. Why are we out in the middle of the ocean? What, whose idea was it to come this far? I guess that would be my idea. Yeah, that was my idea. I don't know. I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, why not? You know, it's fun. We are here in a place called the Port of Astoria. That's what it's called. So any of you YouTubers that are familiar with Astoria, Oregon, or are from around here uh, that are familiar with it, this is where we are right now. And man, I tell you, it's very, very nice around here. Very nice. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. Pretty nice view. Yeah. It's where you can just take it all in, you know, and, just, and be so happy that you can enjoy the landscape. It's almost like looking at uh, National Geographic or like the Traveler Channel or something like that. That's what it kind of looks like, anyway. At least that's what I see, but, yeah. Go look over here. Gotta yeah, be kind of fun to go on those rocks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there, that's pretty cool. So we're just all taking it all in, you know, we got one more day tomorrow, which is pretty much going to be kind of our, I don't know, I guess what you would call our last day, I guess. Yeah. But it's going to be more like, we want to go see the Astoria Column, but we also want to go swimming too. So, we're going to try to do what we can anyway to kind of make that happen anyway. Make both those things happen. And then possibly still have a surprise if it works out. Because we, we're might, we not sure now if it's going to work out or not. But it might. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, very, very nice around here. Just wait for them to say, hey, you can't be back here. Oh, never mind, they're just... <laughs> I, was, I was thinking they were going to say, hey, you can't be back here, but nope. They're just people that drive over here. <laughs> oh, well, no worries. They didn't say that nobody could come over here, so... Oh, well, we're fine. That's cool. <laughs> We're cool, Mike. <laughs> so what do you have to say about this? I mean, what do you think to, about this view and stuff? Is it like looking at a postcard? <laughs> yeah, somewhat. A big postcard. Yeah. yeah. That's really big. It's like this ship. I don't even know what they do with this ship here. Like, what What do you think they do with this ship? Like, what, do you think they, like, fish? Or do you think they control it somehow? Because there's all these boats here. I don't know... If they're all like just gathering fresh fish for the for their businesses here, or if they're just like, what are they doing? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I wish I knew, but I suppose somebody could tell me, but I'd have to go to the information <laughs> or the chamber of commerce. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God knows, I, I don't want to keep bugging those people. I think they're sick of me by now. <laughs> think of both of us. Oh, there's people. On, there's actually people on there on the boat. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> no. I'm sure they're excellent swimmers anyway. So yeah, so we're just taking it all in and I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, pretty much we're almost ready to wrap things up here, but we still got one more day of fun. Hard to believe, it feels like we're, all, we're already done, you know, because it's Friday, right? We've done all this stuff, just about everything we wanted to do. Not everything, but oh well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> It is what it is. We're just happy we got to see the important stuff. And I know what you, you know what I mean by that, Mike, right? Yep. <laughs> the Goonie House, getting our yep. cop school, you know, uh, the, the movie museum and everything. That was pretty cool. What do you think your favorite part so far of the whole trip thus far as of today? I think my favorite part was seeing the King Garden Cop and... Say the school? You know, actually, uh, you know, if I if memory serves me right, I actually, I think I know where the uh, the house is where they actually stayed. You know, where in the movie that was used in the movie for Kindergarten yeah. Cop, uh, it's around here somewhere. And I don't know if it's close by to the school or if it's like farther away. But I remember getting taking pictures of that when I was here the last time. So. I just gotta remember or look at my or think in my mind where it's at. If we can't look at it right now, we can always uh, 
find it online or whatever for directions. Yeah. Map quests or whatever. But I but I think it would be easy to find. Well that lady gave us a map too, didn't she? The yeah. chamber? Yeah. So yes, and I guess uh, June 7th, we can keep rolling here. June 7th over here in Astoria, Oregon. Too bad it, I didn't come a month, we didn't come a month later because it's National Goonie Day. And I don't know if that means uh, one of the original Goonies are coming over or something, but I think it's just a day where they... Well, well they're, they're making this like an annual tradition now because the Goonies have impacted... Pretty much have impacted this town like you wouldn't believe. Sure, it's a movie that's... You know, that's, what, 27 years old or, or so? Or about 26, 27 years yeah, old about? Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. About, 20, yeah, about 27 years old now. But it's impacted this town like you would believe, you know. Here, we're wearing shirts, you know. We're, 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 we're sellouts. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's it's not to sell out. It's because we're both fans. We both appreciate the, what Hollywood did for us, you know. And, and still does today, even though I think... A lot of movies today are just, they don't, there's not, not as much effort put in. But, you know, I'm a firm believer just like what, like, what Steven Spielberg was like when he first started doing films. Nobody thought he'd ever amount to anything. And look, where, look at the success that he's had. And I also bought a book that I can't wait to read, but I'm going to wait until we get, you know, probably when we get on the bus, probably, and then when we get on the train. It's a book about... Uh, called My Three Weeks with the Goonies by a local director here, or author over here, named Mick Houderman or something like that. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering his last name, but I know his first name was Mick anyway. Yeah. And he was only 19 years old when this movie was filmed here in the summer of uh, 84, I believe it was. So I can't wait to read that, but I'll show you guys maybe a little later. But, uh, Maybe I'll even do a book review. What have you, some huh? yeah. Frankie's book review? <laughs> <laughs> have like a have like a, a pipe or whatever. Yeah. Wear like a, a bathrobe and have, wear slippers or whatever. Like a Alistair cookie yeah. <laughs> from Masterpiece Theater. We are here, huh? With, to, to to enjoy this wonderful wonderful masterpiece, <laughs> <laughs> a book about the Goonies. <laughs> I, sir. Frankie Slauson the Third invite you to join me for a book club <laughs> review. <laughs> that would sound so weird. I'm sure I butchered the. I'm sure if anybody from the UK is probably like, I don't know, probably wants to kill me now, probably. But anyway, for butchering their language. But anyway, whatever. I'm thinking more like Alistair Cookie from the Sesame Street. <laughs> but Cookie Monster dressed up like uh, Al uh, call himself Alistair Cookie anyway. Anyway. So, I'll show you guys later in a separate video, probably when I get back from uh, from the trip and everything, when we're back home. Or maybe I'll do a special video on the train or something. I will talk about it or show you what it looks like. Give you a preview. But anyway, so we're just going to go we're gonna go watch the Adventures movie. We'll maybe give you guys our little review. Won't be anything fancy, but they don't want any cameras in there, so we kind of got to respect that. So... We don't want to get, you know, go to prison just no. for doing something stupid, right? <laughs> sure, we love this place, but, you know, I wouldn't mind staying the next few days, but <laughs> but we got shit to do. <laughs> I don't know what, but we got something to do, whatever. Anyway, so, we'll see you in the next clip. I would definitely call this paradise. Some people probably would be like, it's just a town. Oh, look at this. I guess we didn't realize they do pictures and everything. I like these little shops that they have over here. It's pretty cool. Posters and fine art cards and photo frames. They're very nice. I feel like we're in Thief River for some reason. Just because I see Wells Fargo and <laughs> I see little, all these little shops and everything. Anyway, so what's up, Mike? Hi, now. Good Hi. morning to you. <laughs> or I mean, good evening. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what time, what, what to say anymore. I'll say good afternoon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. So what did you think of the Avengers movie? We just got out of seeing that. First time ever seeing it here in Oregon. Astoria, Oregon. And first time actually being involved in a theater. Somewhere out of our comfort zone, more or less. Yeah. So what did you think? Uh, I thought the movie was pretty good. What did you like about it? Um, I like 
um, everything about the movie theater. What do you hate about it? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay. I guess you just answered your question already. I already asked you, and that's right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, this is the place we went and toured earlier, the Liberty City Theater. And how would you like to tour that place? Doesn't that look more like a? Doesn't that look more like a? I think you see it in Hollywood or something like that. Yeah. A movie place, or it always reminds me of. Uh, Back to Future Part 2, Biff's place. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> of the way it looks like or whatever. Yeah. Hotel Biff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hotel Tanner or, or uh, what was the place called? Or, or that he owned or whatever. Mm-hmm. I know it was like the original Clock Tower place, but I forget the name of the hotel or whatever that, or what it was called. Biff something. Right? Biff's Hotel. No, I don't think it was hotel. I think it was like had a fancy name to it. And I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're here downtown Astoria, Oregon, at night. You know, ending day number three or day number two of our of our uh, documentary, or our, of our pretty much of our day here at Astoria. We got one more day to to go, and I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, but. I guess we'll just play it by ear. We do want to go swimming. We do want to possibly go see the Astoria Column. Or there might be a surprise, or there might not be. Of a person coming back, coming that I know, that uh, somebody I grew up with, that was a fail or a good friend of my brother's. But uh, we don't know yet uh, if that's going to happen or not. But it's a possibility. So. You like the Avengers movie? You definitely recommend it. Oh yeah. You'll probably get it on DVD or Blu-ray someday or whatever. Yeah, or DVD or whatever. Uh-huh. Look, photos of things. I get distracted really easily, as you probably already knew. Already. <laughs> I feel like Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Like, look, a ball. <laughs> Talk about something important or whatever, and I'll say, "Oh, look, a ball." <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't mind it, I guess. I mean, I have seen all the Iron Man movies, and I saw your column. That's pretty cool. I suppose while they were, you know, remodeling and everything. And, oh, yeah, he, that's how they put the steps in. Oh. Kind of what it looks like inside. So we may be going over there tomorrow, hopefully. And then, of course, that story itself. People love this town, I tell you. It's, it's a disease. <laughs> it's a good disease, though. Yeah. One disease that won't kill you. <laughs> anyway, so, I, I liked it. I mean, you know, I was surprised how much it cost to actually go see it. A little 3D, and then we're gonna, we were going to have some pop or whatever. We bought pop at Safeway over here. And uh, for some reason, like, we got caught to bring our pop in, and the lady said, we weren't supposed to bring any pop in, but then I said, well, can we buy a cup? So we had to pay not only what we paid for our pop, but we also had to pay an extra $4.75, which is stupid, for a cup, of, a cup, just so we could have our pop, so we didn't have to throw it out. I don't know. Another waste of money, I guess, but oh well. It's an experience anyway. The theater was pretty nice. It's actually, I, I was actually really impressed by all the posters and stuff that they had over there. You know, at least they care about films and everything, you know. They even had that movie, The Dark Shadows, with the Johnny Depp playing it or whatever, or that's coming up or whatever. Uh, what women want. That's what people want. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen that one yet. Anyway, so, all in all, it's been going pretty good. You know, we got one more day here. Gonna try to fill some time. It was kind of. I was telling Mike, you know, and tell him how, how it's kind of sad because we're, you know, we just started to enjoy ourselves, and all of a sudden we're almost done already with this vacation. I mean, you know, maybe you might be a little homesick, but I think Mike's more homesick than I am. I'm not really that homesick. I'm actually. This is a place that I I feel. Like I can, I can be myself, you know, and, and nobody gives a crap, you know. It's a place of dreams and magic. I don't know what type of magic, but 
breaking wind without it stinking. Or... <laughs> no, it's it's been really fun being here. And if this is my last time here, you know, I just want to to make it the best time that I'll you know always remember. And, and that if we ever do decide to do another vacation, that it's just as much fun as here, wherever we may go in the future, I guess. But it won't be the last time, I guarantee you. Maybe the last time over here, but it just opens up. Let's go this way. Okay. <laughs> this is nice outside. And since we never really talked about this place over here yet, we, we showed it a little bit, but we never talked about it yet. I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just cool to be around so much history and people who love this town. I mean, literally love this town. We, we uh, haven't met anybody that's been mean or anything. Everybody's been really nice and, you know, they, they love this town. Just as much as, uh, just as much as we love coming and uh, being a, you know, welcome guest. <laughs> I guess we can't call ourselves tourists. You know, the guy was telling us that we're not tourists, we're welcome guests, you know. And that's kind of... Oh, boy. <laughs> Hey, we got a little action. <laughs> Why not, eh? But no, I mean, it, it's just it's just cool to to be a part of this town. I mean, what do you think you'll remember the most from being here, now that you've been here? <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot at almost midnight over here. <laughs> well, I think I like that... Doing that touring yeah. around here. You like that Liberty, uh, that Liberty Theater it's because of how elegant it was and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you recommend? You know, if somebody's like, finally, if somebody has an interest to come here because of our video or our documentary, what what do you recommend them come to see? I probably end up doing the Liberty. Okay. But, uh, was there anything from this trip so far that you didn't like at all so far? Yeah, I pretty much liked everything. Though. Okay. So everything that we've done so far has impressed the heck out of you pretty much. Yeah. Well, we'll go this way, I guess. Well, that's cool then. I mean, that's that's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought there would have been one thing at least that you wouldn't have liked or whatever, but... But I'm glad that that's. I'm glad I was wrong. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm glad that you actually are having a great time. Now, this place here is one place we haven't even talked about yet. It's been talked about before by other people, I'm sure, but not in depth and not nearly as nice and slow to slow the process down like how we like to do stuff like that. This is a Flavel House or Flavel House Museum, and if you guys all remember the scene. In the Goonies, where Mikey's dad, this is the place where Mikey's dad was supposed was working, and he was doing the flagpole thing or take the flagpole down. Day was over, they went down on their bikes all the way down this hill here, as you can barely see because it's still dark outside. But thank God for light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I don't know how they made it, how they made it so perfect, but they, this is where it was where the, they rode their bikes down back in nineteen. 84, 85, or probably 84 when the, they were filming here. Yeah. And this is pretty much the big building that they, that his dad went down, or, or was working on. We, we hung out here last night and uh, had a good time, and after we went bowling, and you know, I just, we were just saying, you know, how cool it is just to, you know, to be able to be here and be a part of history and stuff, and and now, you know, how many people actually come up here and make a YouTube video, an in-depth YouTube video, not just little clips or whatever, but of things like this. You know, something that's part of history. I think that's the flagpole right there. Yeah. And he was waving and everything, you know. Looks pretty big, but still, nevertheless. So I think it's pretty cool that that we can be a part of this and you know remember 
Oh wow, this actually does go far. Or a little bit anyway, it goes to the end here. <laughs> I don't think many people film around here, but this or go this far. I haven't seen anybody do that, that yet. And I want to be the first person to do that. And it's really, it's really funny because as popular as this film was or is or still is or, is or will always be around here, you don't often see many people just really explain everything. Like over there, it's the Oregon, well, what used to be the jail, now it's just the uh, Oregon Film Museum. And uh, we went over there, and as you saw earlier, and had a blast. And I gotta go and exchange the shirt because I think I got the wrong size. <laughs> I think I got the wrong gender, too. <laughs> I, I, can't, I don't know how long that happened, but I bought a large shirt. A Stand By Me shirt, which I thought was really cool. I liked the, the picture. And I paid eighteen dollars for it and I turned I put it on, put it on and it was too too tight. It was supposed to be a large and, and Mike was like, Maybe it's a lady's shirt. <laughs> it's like, you know what, maybe you're right. <laughs> so hopefully they'll let me either get my money back or let me exchange it. I mean I only wore it once real quick, so <clears throat> I don't know what they they never gave me a receipt or nothing, so hopefully they'll Hopefully they'll work out something in here that make me really happy, <laughs> as they've been making me happy so far this whole time anyway. So anyway, uh, this is the end of uh, day two of our trip to Astoria, Oregon. Uh, we'll film more tomorrow, but I just figured I'd, we'd just go hang out after watch the movie. So. Good night, Mike. Good night. <laughs> Say good night to all your all your new fans there. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs>